And Brad, take it away, brother. Morning, everybody. Uh, I want to thank you for joining. And I just wanted to say a few words about why it is so important that uh, we have this event. Um, this has been a very difficult year and a half. All of you have been on the front lines of working issues related with COVID and keeping pace with the already existing care that's provided for other types of treatments and services. Um, it's important that we meet. It's important that we meet to, lead, uh, to engage with key leaders in our field, uh, to talk about uh, what we're doing professionally and uh, how we're growing, uh, changes in our career paths, making sure we know uh, uh, changes uh, in each other's roles in, in our field. Uh, we need to have deeper conversations about uh, what's been going on and deepen our relationships. Um, it, it's in this way that we raise and elevate our profession. Um, certainly for folks who are looking for jobs, looking for research uh, collaborations, looking for uh, to be uh, participants in upcoming events with IFMBECD, as well as Amy, uh, this is vitally important. Uh, there's going to be many sessions as Tom shared and we'll uh, uh, share more details later. Uh, uh, many sessions uh, sharing the leading trends of what's happening in our field, innovations, new ideas. Um, it also is providing an opportunity for regional groups to gather and interface and talk about their unique needs and uh, share lessons learned and find new ways to engage with each other. Uh, these sorts of events are very inspirational. I always walk away from everyone. Uh, when I was in Brazil, I was just blown away at the work that Khalil and that whole team did. When I was in Italy, I was just overwhelmed by the number of uh, great ideas that came uh, from the event that Stefano helped to host and his team. The engagement, the dialogues are, are what's most important. Uh, and hearing from experts in our field straight from those experts, being able to ask them questions, and have conversation. Also, we're going to have a lot of companies that are sponsoring this event there on site. You'll be able to engage with those companies and talk with them about the innovations they're making in products and how they apply in your domain. And you're able to share your own work and talk about what you're doing in your location and the role you're playing. For all these reasons, we need to get together and we need to have these conversations. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you. And Brad, uh, I would like to uh, jump in and just add to what you said, why it is so important, the networking, the education and engagement. For example, there is no other international cross-continent clinical engineering event that is as good and as up-to-date as what we are offering in Orlando. There is none. We are the event for the clinical engineering world. So networking, education, engagement is the place where you will get all that accomplished. The partnership that uh, Brad mentioned, so many groups from Central South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia will be there. This is the opportunity to cross continent and connect. And I would like to mention that one of the events that's going to take place just the afternoon before the Congress starts is the Global Clinical Engineering Summit, where you will have a chance to tell us what you would like to see in the next Congress following Orlando. And you probably would like to influence what topics will be discussed next. So by all means, this is the place you should be.